Okay, we're trying a new weed control method here. We don't want to use Roundup, we can avoid it. But we've got an interesting combination of kochia, which is a tall, nasty weed that's pretty much fireproof and Roundup proof. We have mallow, which is a low, round leaf weed like this, that is also resistant to Roundup or anything like that. We've got cockleburrs, which can kill a Roundup, but they come right back the next year because it doesn't kill the seeds. And we've got good old fashioned goat heads. Goat heads, you cannot kill the seeds for anything except with heat. So we're going to try and just forgo the chemicals this year and do straight heat, see what happens. And if we have to do it every month, so it's no big deal. Propane's cheap, it's not exactly the most environmentally friendly thing, but uh, it's better than around I think. So here we go. That's Cockleburr going up there. Does a pretty good job. It's only middle of April, so most of our nasty summer weeds aren't up yet, including the goat heads. But uh, I'm gonna spray good. that with water real quick. Well, you don't want to create a fire hazard. Yeah, those uh, really kind of how old by burning from the inside. Here, let me get it, baby. Yeah. Sorry. Your feet. You have to be careful because this comes playing up again overnight and the railroad ties will be gone in the morning, so... I don't care for railroad ties for landscaping, they're best left for railroads. But, no reason to burn them up either. Yeah, that's the only thing holding our dirt in there. It would not be good if, if in the middle of the night everything's gone. That would be bad. <laughs> Pearson too, but it's fun. Okay, we're almost done. But it rained a little bit. We got a green patch here. It's getting dark. We're not doing much good. But I'm hoping that once we get this burned off a little bit, it'll kill the cockleburrs back enough that it'll they'll dry up some, come back in a week or two and finish it off. So we'll see what happens here.
Okay, we're about done here. As you can see, don't know if I did much good burn here. It's kind of green, but we got most of it done. And one more hit, we're hunting, hunting, hunting for that. Just an air burn right down the ground with about three inches, six inches of the nozzle. So we did some good, we dried it out some. Okay. Kind of hard to tell what we did in the dark, but the brown black spots where we burned. Over here is our okay. test area, which was really bad go heads last year. Didn't do that yet, so we'll see how it goes. I need to drop one of these crackling bowls in water, see what happens. Okay, the driveway is burned off. We'll see how well it works. It uh, took a while of time. Today's work went a whole lot better than. Last night so it was cold and wet. A little windy today, but uh, things seem to be working okay. So we'll see how long it lasts. We'll check on it in a month and see if we need to go again. We have an interesting thing here with our railroad tie edging. Got a little spark in there last night, I guess. And today the wind started blowing and all started sparking up and the tie is melting all over inside. But that's the dangers of fire. Okay. 